Alex is here, I know Tyler's here, Greg Sapp and Dustin White and the whole crew at the X Radio, they always do a great job covering our game. So, uh, big thank you to Olivia. Uh, uh, I also want to give a big thank you to the parents. Parents, you guys have been awesome this year. You got your kids to the game. You're supportive of each and every one of these girls like they are your own girl. That's not, that's not common. I mean, that's, you don't always see that with all teams, but you guys support these girls like they're your own girls. You cheer for them, you pull for them, you want the best for each and every one of them. And you also treat it like a, a, a sport, a game that's to be, to be, that is to be played. You don't overemphasize anything. We really appreciate that, parents, so thank you very much. We, uh, there's a lot of talk of like, I get asked a lot about like what class are we in? Are we in 1A, 2A? You get asked about it with golf and everything else. Like what are we in? Uh, so I think this team of girls could be in 5A or 6A or whatever, and we're still gonna win ball games. We, still, we have uh, three of the best coaches in the business. They could also be class 5A coaches. They are on their, kind of their fourth year. The first year, we won't mention, that was the C word. Uh, the last three years, they've done nothing but win softball games. Um, so, a big shout out to the coaches. Uh, they also, parents, you guys treat all these girls like they're, they're your own, but uh, these coaches also treat each one of these girls like they are their own. So, um, so thank you guys all. Um, this is incredible. Four years with it. Um, I started in 2020. Um, you know, that was the start of it though. Jessica Coffin, Carly Repke. Um, you, you guys were really my start of the journey and kind of stuff, okay? Um, so I'm really thankful for you guys. And, you know, every year it just kind of snowballed into, you know, kind of going backtracking a little bit. So I'm a 2014 grad here. Um, you know, obviously my vision as a player is always to go to state, right? I think that's everyone's, you know, dream to go there, uh, to find a way there. Um, obviously, I didn't get to do that, um, but you know, I wanted to come back to this community, really start something for them, and gosh, I'm, I'm proud of you guys, okay? Um, when I started, I think we had, what, 12 to 13 players at the most, and here we got 23 to 24 girls out, that's huge. And obviously, up to our fans, too. Um, you know, I, I, it's just so cool to see, you know, people t texting me I haven't talked to in years, uh, cheering us on, just seeing how big this St. Anthony team has turned into. And you guys have really made the stamp here at St. Anthony. So give yourselves a round of applause. Um, and then obviously our media reporters, T-Rep, awesome, thank you. Alex Walner, you guys are awesome. Uh, it, it's been tremendous this year. Obviously you gotta win some games to get some media out there. So good job girls. And then last but not least, our two great assistant coaches, uh, there's a lot of time and energy that gets in, put into that, and you know, obviously your spouses, my mom Janine, she bears with everything at home, so thank you for that. I'm sure we rubbed off a little bit to Jeff and Jody, so thank you to Jeff and Jody too. And then obviously too, my husband Cole, he's been awesome. Um, we have a little bit of a different circumstance living in Evansville and traveling back and forth, but I wouldn't have won it any other way. Uh, there's some days where... He's like, you're crazy. I'm like, I know. I love it though. <laughs> it's a pleasure to coach all of you guys. You seniors, I'm gonna miss you guys like crazy because I started with you five, Taylor, four or five at the time. Um, but no, thank you guys. Um, you guys, I know we'll all succeed. Do whatever you guys are gonna do and I can't wait to watch you guys. Um, you guys are just so coachable. It's so easy to be around you and you, seriously, you're my favorite part of every single day. And then lastly, to end, I just want to share a couple of things with you guys because I was looking back at stats. Um, 2023, our batting average as a team, does anyone want to make a guess? 402 is what we batted as a team. That's incredible. We had 337 hits this year. We had 281 runs scored and we outscored our opponents and we only gave up 78 runs. That's crazy. Obviously, I'm proud to be a Bulldog, and thank you guys for making me be a part of this journey. I love you all, and I'm gonna hug you guys all too. So thank you guys for being here and supporting them. The list just goes on because as I got to thinking, it's just crazy how many people are a part of this culture of softball, St. Anthony and the family. It's, it's, it's absolutely crazy, I love it, okay? It's, it's, it's wonderful. We were getting into postseason. Uh, we started a lot, watching a lot of Game Changer and other teams. And uh, Kate, our nephew, had come over and 
He goes, let's watch this game. I'm like, all right, let's do it. So we'd watch two, three hours of it. And he'd even give some of the other teams uh, nicknames for their uh, their kids hitting. And one was Lumberjack for whatever reason. I guess she swung the bat like a lumberjack. But um, Michaela and Cole, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how in the world you guys do it. But it's just absolutely crazy uh, to live how you do and do what you guys do together. And uh, it's much appreciated when you come up on the weekends and the support you give is just phenomenal. Um, so it's just, just uh, Cole and I work for the same company, so I'm lobbying to get him a little closer here in the next year. So. But the culture that Michaela has brought uh, to these girls has been phenomenal. And to watch them grow and connect and to work with each other has is, is just been incredible. So it, it's been awesome to watch. Players, I, I, I can't even begin. <laughs> You guys don't even understand how this is such a big deal. Uh, where we started out with five of you in the coat year, and we got what two week or two of practice in, and just shut us down, which was was miserable. And I hate that for you guys, and especially for the senior class, Jessica. That year, it was awful. Okay, but these last three years, you guys came together and pulled a record of 72 and 18. Wow, that's phenomenal. Why is this team so successful? And again, again, it comes back to the culture that, that was built here. But I'm going to tell you, probably the first and foremost thing is their work, work ethic uh, of all of them. And when I say that is, is a lot of them play travel ball, as you well know, uh, and they put a lot of time into it during the year. And, and that, that goes a long way to make us successful. Another part of that is, is we, we start hitting in, in Sunday or in January on weekends and on Wednesday nights. A lot of high fives going on, a lot of cheering going on. And the best part was a couple weeks ago, uh, where were we playing? Uh, we, no, it was Monday. And Ella Johnson goes, Coach, are we louder than Quincy Notre Dame? I said, you dang right we are. Yeah. So great job. <laughs> the, uh, the, the don't ever give up attitude or never quit. This team showed that, okay? When we got into some tough games in the sectional, we were down both games in the sectional, came back and won. Um, and then again, Quincy Notre Dame, you know, it was a good game with them. We had the lead early, but they came back and stuck in the game. But their never quit attitude. And even yesterday, I never felt like we were out of the out of this game against the best team in the state. We played right with them. And as a matter of fact, they beat Beecher 7-1 today. So I feel like we're one of the best teams right with Rock Ridge. As Michaela said, seniors, I'm, I'm so proud of you guys. Uh, you know, obviously one chapter has come to a close, and you guys have been very successful. And knowing what your work ethic is, uh, it, it's going to be really, really good futures for all of you five ahead. Okay. Josh about got in trouble with the whistle today, by the way. The umpire was looking for the guy with the whistle. <laughs> During the spring, we were getting really frustrated as the coaches because we weren't able to play some games because we were getting weathered out. And uh, we kept asking Kevin for more games, more games, and he was getting mad at us. We were getting mad at him. And <laughs> it, yeah, it was an interesting situation. But, but we got through it. Uh, I think all that time of practice, and these girls practiced hard when we didn't have games. They'd go out of hard with each other. It was 402. Go back the last two years, in, in 2022, we hit 362. In 2021, we hit 361. We raised our batting average 40 points. And I think a lot of you know, th this lineup, one through nine, and plus the bench, I would take these girls anywhere in the state to play softball. One through nine, you guys are the best. Great job. <laughs> Lastly, I know Michaela mentioned the local media, so Alex, Tyler, uh, WXEF, thank you again for everything and their teams. And it was awesome to have the eighth grade girls come along to help practice to see what was going on. The Gannaway kids were shagging fly balls last week. It was awesome. So thank you all. That's all I got. Appreciate everything, and go Bulldogs. Tremendous group of girls here. Uh, I can't ask for a better team to be uh, helping to coach. So shout out to you girls. What a great year that you guys had. Thank you, buddy, for all the support that you've given us this year. All right? You did a great job this year. Lastly, I want to thank these two coaches for putting up with me the last couple years. Um, all the support that you've shown, and I learned so much from these guys the last two years, I can't even put it into words. Uh, but they've been great to work with, and I really appreciate everything you've done. Okay? Go Bulldogs! Um, I also just want to say how grateful for I am to be a Bulldog. 
Um, I'm a senior, so I'm moving on next year. Unfortunately, we didn't have a super senior year in all my teammates for the incredible opportunity I got to be part of this team and to all we've accomplished together.